Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about how new business and existing business can be combined and what's the difference between the two of them and what company should focus on. My name is Fabio Gallo. So it's now more than 15 years that I work in digital sales and marketing and I've been in, you know, working for many companies, my own company and, and different countries. The uh, point of today is showing why both new business and existing business need to be uh, and coexist together. Uh, the first thing that we need to understand is we should divide it at 50%. 50% should be focused on existing business and and other 50% should be focused on new business. So that's that's extremely important and most of the company that I'm working with, they normally wrongly have the idea that 80% is the existing business and just 20 or less percent is the new business. So why this paradigm should change and why your company should focus at least for the 50% on new business. So let, let's see let's see the classic curve of most common business. And when we talk about a normal business, we start from zero and the curve is like that, right? So we arrive at a certain point in which the new business basically stop and we need to find another niche. We need to find another market. We need to find another sector in which the company can grow. And this is the reason why most of the company at, at a certain point of their life, they start to decrease the revenue, they start to decrease the business they do. And, and most of the reason is connected again to this fact because they are mostly interesting on the existing business rather than to open and penetrate new market, including new, new, new services and expand the business outside boundaries. So the real, the real game changer is to understand when you know, you're getting closer to this point and then it's when you need to start to think about what's next, right? In order to still grow and still grow faster. So what smarter company are doing is investing 50% on new business and just 50% on existing business. Because if I open up a new branch, for instance, in another country, or if I'm starting to look uh, for instance, an acquisition of another company that can implement a new services inside the business, um, then I will, I will go back in a situation in which just half of my business will be on existing company, existing clients and the new 50% will be spread between, for instance, new services, new product or new market. And so you will have another curve that will, will grow and will grow faster than this curve that is probably already in a stagnation point. So this is the, the reason why I always push uh, companies to think about existing business and, and, and new business. How they match together is, is really about the strategy, is really about the sales, is really about the marketing and, 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 and finance. So again, new business should be at least 50% of your time and 50% of the business purposes of your company. If you like this video, if you wanna know more about these things, if you wanna know more about um, how to improve and how to perform better in the business, uh, like the video, follow up uh, on, on my YouTube channel and I will do more, more video for you. See you soon.